Scanimation is a result of an acetate and a sheet of paper. On my sheet of paper, I have my frames that are printed. And on my acetate, what I have is I have a grid. When I move the grids on the sheet of paper, I have an animation. Animation in Illustrator and Photoshop work that way. First, in Photoshop, I have a grid on top of my document just to test my animation. So I can see that when I move my grid, I have an animation. So this is, uh, this is great. And how this works exactly is that I have a grid that is on top of everything. And then in all of my, my frames here, I apply also a grid that I use as a mask. One grid, two grid, three grid, four grid, five grid. And I created this grid in Illustrator. So here uh, I show you my file. So here I have first, I have my, my grid and the little gap in between each of the bars in my grid are equivalent to one frame. So here I, I go with the mask. So here it's my first frame, my second frame, my third frame, my fourth frame, and my fifth frame. Notice that when I open all of the grid, it covers the whole surface. And my final grid is just the equivalent of all of the frame minus the fifth frame. So I just, once I have my grid, I just have to take my grid here, copy it and paste it in Photoshop. I'll just show you this manipulation because maybe you don't know it. So I just copy, uh, I'll just copy my grid here as a pixel. I just go enter and I load the transparency by go Apple or comment or control click on the transparency and then I just apply it to my uh, to my layer. So it create a layer that is hidden by the result of the grid. In order to prepare my printing document before I have my final uh, scanimation, I have a document that is uh, set it that way in Photoshop. So on the top, I have my grid and then I have the result of the hidden layers with one fifth of each frame here. So what I want, what I want to do is first print my grid. So I just close all my layers, close all my layers, open my background, a white background, and my grid here on top. And I go file. I can go just really export, export fast as PNG. Don't quick pre PNG here. And I'll just export that, and I'll name it uh, grid. See, and I just save it. Yes, I can replace it. So I'll just save my grid and then I'll have to open the result okay, of the frame without the grid, of course. So I just open all of my frames. I've, I've just put a black and white here because I think it worked better with black and white animation. You can try color, but really it worked better with black and white animation. So I'll go in all the tips that I did. So I go export, export as PNG. And then those are my frames. So I replace that because I already done it. And so at the end, when I go to the print shop, I have one file to print and another file to print. Importantly, you know, I, I, I proceed with one document because I want both of the file to be exactly the same, uh, the same size. 